All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to draw two types of emphasis balloons. We're gonna do a double outline balloon, and we're also gonna do a jagged burst balloon. But we'll start with a double outline. So we've got this word balloon here for Mercy. She's on the ground and she yells, Ratmir, as he gets kicked by Old Hickory. So, so here's Ratmir in her layers. So I'm gonna add a new layer, and we will click and hold to drag it underneath the text. And I'm going to click off. We're gonna get a, our brush tool, and I'm gonna use the same brush that I created back in our um, video about drawing balloons. I'm gonna do pretty much exactly the same thing here, which is just draw an oval and then click and hold till it becomes a perfect ellipse. And then if I, my selection tool and freehand, just draw around it, get the transform tool, and we can just move it, kind of get it centered a little bit better around the text. If we need to, we can always scale it and even rotate it till it looks looks good around our text. Looks pretty good to me. Now let's duplicate this layer. Slide to the right, we'll duplicate. And for now, we'll hide the top one. So we're working with the bottom one here. Let's fill it with a contrasting color. Um, I think in this case, if we look out at the page, orange or red, um, kind of a golden orange is a good contrasting color. So we can get up in here. It's kind of golden oranges and we'll just drag that right into the balloon. And then let's select it and transform it. Actually, before we do that, let's make the top layer visible, but we'll keep working with the bottom layer here. Select it and transform it. And then as we scale it out, you can see it starts to appear from behind the top balloon. We can even rotate it a little bit. Sometimes it looks pretty cool. Get a little bit of a rotation on it either direction. Looks pretty good. Maybe sometimes I like to make it a little bit bigger as it's coming away from the speaker. And then we'll go back to our top balloon layer here and get the eraser tool. And I'm going to erase basically between Mercy and the center of the balloon. I'm going to erase like a one letter width space there. Change our ink color back to black, get the brush tool. And we're going to click on one point of the opening there and drag about halfway to Mercy and drag back. And if you hold down, it makes it a perfect triangle. Um, if you don't hold down, then it has that more of that kind of hand drawn jitter to it. And then we'll get, let's get a white fill here. And I'm just gonna drag that right into the center of the balloon. And there we go, there's our double outlined burst balloon. Now our second type of emphasis balloon is going to be the jagged burst balloon. And to make that, I'm first gonna hide the orange oval and I'm gonna click on the layer transparency settings for our white oval and I'm gonna bring it back so it's just barely visible so that we can use it as a template for our jagged burst. Um, once you've done a bunch of these, you probably don't need a guide anymore, but I think for this, it's a pretty good technique when you're getting started with it. Let's add a new layer. Click off. And bring this up a little bit here. And I've got our brush that we created, I've got black ink, and I'm gonna start drawing at the tip of the tail here. And I'm gonna go in the balloon and back out. And I'm basically gonna straddle that white oval, just kind of going in and out, over and back, and also alternating big and small spikes. Sometimes you can put two little spikes in a row, and then if I hold, you can see it snaps into perfect polygon shapes. Now before I do anything else, I'm gonna to touch the edit shape at the top there. And then let's zoom in and we can see that we actually have little control points on all of our spikes. So you can make them bigger or smaller and you can also kind of make sure that they all look like they're emanating out from the center of the balloon. This one actually turned out pretty good. Back off. And then once we touch anywhere else, now it's locked in as pixels. And then the next thing I need to do is fill it with white. So set my color to white, drag it right to the center of the balloon there. And we got a pretty good looking burst. But there's one final touch that can often make it even better. I'm gonna select it with the freehand tool, then hit the transform tool. And I've got distort selected down there and then just basically grab the corners and kind of pull it away from the character. And it just kind of gives it a little bit more energy to it. Touch off, back out. And there we go, jagged burst.